So as you probably know, Netflix, citing the understandable cost of processing and shipping millions of DVDs to its customers, announced about a month ago that they were drastically increasing their prices. Now, instead of customers having unlimited streaming plus the ability to rent DVDs, Netflix has separated the two services, and the cost of each separately is almost the same as what they used to cost together. That's right, the cost of unlimited streaming plus one DVD at a time used to be $9.99, but now the cost of unlimited streaming by itself is $7.99, and the cost of DVDs one at a time is also $7.99. And if you want both, you have to pay for both, $7.99 plus $7.99. And before you pull your calculators out, that's $15.98 per month. That's a 60% increase for the exact same service. Kind of like if gas was $2 a gallon and then you came back a couple weeks later and it was $3.50. Like that kind of happened, didn't it? But assuming that the price of the services is the only thing that Netflix is able or willing to change, then I don't know if this can last in the long run. To be fair, $7.99 for unlimited streaming only is an option that has been around for a while, but $9.99 for that plus the ability to get one DVD at a time was clearly a better deal. Like, it was a no-brainer. You see, the thing is, the selection that Netflix offers for its instant streaming is dismal at best. Now occasionally there's some quality stuff on there but unless you're one of those people that really likes B movies you can probably watch everything good on Netflix in just a few months tops. Honestly I don't think it's worth eight dollars a month in fact I don't even know that I'd pay for it at all especially with how easy it's becoming to find shit on the internet and if you add the fact that internet service providers are continuously limiting how much bandwidth that customers could use because of companies like Netflix then that makes an expensive streaming only option even less practical likewise I don't think the DVD only option is worth eight bucks a month either depending on how many DVDs you're able to watch a month and how valuable the movie theater experience is to you then just using that money to go to the movies every month might be a better deal. Now perhaps if you watch a buttload of movies every month it could be worth it but I read an article where they did the math and the theoretical maximum of movies that you could watch per month using the cheapest Netflix option is nine. And that's only if you live close enough to a shipping facility that you can get fast shipping times and if you watch the DVDs as soon as you get them and return them as soon as you're done with them. And how many of us really do that? Now Netflix does give customers the ability to pay more to have more than one DVD out at a time but that same article I mentioned indicated that the more DVDs you buy at once the less of a deal you're getting which seems kind of backwards to me but whatever. Most people I know only watch two or three DVDs a month from Netflix anyway and if you consider the uprising of the red box machines you could be getting the exact same service for much 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 cheaper. Absurdly, there's no discount and thus no incentive for buying both plans together and you think this is because Netflix is losing money or something, but as far as I've heard, Netflix reports higher and higher earnings every time. And that's because they kept getting new subscribers and these are people who found out about what amounted to being a pretty good deal. But it's not a good deal anymore, at least in my opinion, so I don't know if this can sustain. Obviously, I'm not the only one. Customers are pissed, almost without exception, even a month later. Many of them have canceled and some have threatened to cancel, but I think this is the time where competitors like Redbox and Blockbuster need to start rolling out their own products, and if they prove to be a better service for a better price, which I don't think should be very hard, Netflix might be in trouble. Or whatever, what do I know? What do you think? Leave me a comment.